How you doing? This is the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, you know, people have been asking me to do reviews of movies and movie trailers. Well, I'm a little hampered because I don't have the technical knowledge to put inserts of clips from the movies or movie trailers into my videos. I need something to show me how to do that because every time I try to put a picture in one of my videos, it sits there and it runs across the top of the corner to the left and then it just it doesn't show up on the screen. So I don't know what the hell to do. But... <clears throat> That won't stop me from viewing this one. It's Mission Impossible 5, the official trailer. First of all, I have a problem. I can't stand Tom Cruise. Or as Kathy and I call him, Tom Snooze. Because everything we've seen him in since Top Gun puts us to sleep. But anyway, they got this trailer. First, they show you three different logos of three different production companies. Pair them out with some ominous music. Some other thing that goes by so fast, I don't know what the hell it is. And Bad Robot. No, I haven't figured out Bad Robot. Is there a, another company called Good Robot? <clears throat> and they're putting out, they put out those Star Trek movies. Those revisionist movies that I've grown to like, but it ain't James T. Kirk, the real one. And it ain't the 80-year-old, 82-year-old William Shatner. And it ain't, got, it ain't the guy from that crappy Star Trek Generations movie. But anyway... They start out with Tom Cruise riding a, a motorcycle down something that looks like the street they used in the last episode of one of the uh, seasons of Top Gear. Looks like he's in England. Then he's got this table. And it looks like an air hockey table. And he puts his thumb down. It says confirmed. That means that the, 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 the table's confirmed. And then he puts his thumb down on the surface of the table. Then he's got some other stuff going on. He's running. And the explosions look like the ground breaking up in twenty, the movie 2012. Then they got this tower that looks like the world's biggest suppository. Then he's on a roof. And then he winds up on a bridge that looks like the bridge they used in, uh, let's see, um, uh, True Lies and... Um, what was that James Bond movie with uh, Timothy Dalton with a drug dealer where they take the armored truck and it goes off into the Florida Keys? Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now because Timothy Dalton was so unforgettable that I've forgotten it. But they got him running on there and they're shooting him in missiles. And then they got a, you know, they got a big thing at the end, Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 5. I'm going, oh, this is makes me want to really go out and watch this movie. I'd rather listen to Nori. I'd rather fall asleep listening to Nori than watch this turkey. You know, they had Peter Graves originally, alive and presumably well. Did they do a Mission Impossible movie with him and the original cast? No. They, sh they killed him off in the first movies, I understood. I've never watched these. Just like I don't watch Brokeback Mountain... I've never watched Julia Roberts and anything except Oceans, uh, the remake of Oceans 11. And to me, she's always had a horse face. She could be running at Santa Anita, so I don't like her either. But, you know, this is the this is what passes for movies nowadays. People say, gee, you got a lot of movies in your movie collection. Yeah, and I watch them over and over because I like them. I go to the theater and I plonk down 12 bucks for a movie, three bucks of which, or four bucks, goes to the um, Academy because they get their cut. Yes, the Academy of Motion Picture and Arts and Sciences gets $3 of your movie ticket money sent directly to them. And I guess the producers might get a dollar out of that. Then you go in and get a large soda, and that's three or four bucks. And then you go get your caramel corn and that, or your buttered popcorn with butter that may not be real butter. It might be canola oil or coconut oil or palm oil or linseed oil. You're doing your floors in. I don't know what the hell is in that. I used to work in a the theater. I just know that, you know, you get this big bucket of popcorn, and you got your giant soda. And then half the times, you go into the theater... And the floors are all sticky, and you get your foot caught on something, and then you trip, and you drop your popcorn, and you drop your soda, and you're going to go back and beg them, hey, I tripped on all your sticky floors, would you please give me a refill? And sometimes they will, and sometimes they won't. And then you all, you got some guy snoring in the background, like I did when they, I saw the, that turkey, the Phantom Menace, where they had... Uh, 
um, Vader, when he wasn't Vader, he was Anakin killing little kids. That should have been a Nori moment. And uh, he falls into a volcano and then crawls out of the out of the fucking volcano. Excuse my language. Uh, with everything burnt to a crisp, he should have been like a, a gingerbread man burnt in the oven too long. But he's able to recover somehow, and they put him in a suit. He's running around like an as like the world's worst asthma patient. This is why I don't watch this this some of this horrible crap. Uh, I agree with the guy with the other movie reviewing that um, Star Wars prequel, sequel, whatever the hell it was. Naboo, Shmaboo, uh, the weeping weeping girlfriend or wife of Anakin, and uh, uh, what was that guy's name? Um, oh, the, the black Jedi Knight who couldn't couldn't fend off Anakin. He goes out a window. Well, I would have dived out the window when I saw the script. All right. This is the guy from Pittsburgh. Free Art Bell. Free Art Bell's bumper music. Free Art. Free Art Bell everything. <laughs> I forgot what the hell I'm saying. Uh, free the Duck and Free Area 51 drone and Free Kathy. So I'll catch you next time. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.